having a jail population that includes uh, on some days like today where we have over a thousand inmates in between our two facilities that you have to provide incentives uh, to redirect behavior most of the people that are in this facility are not necessarily those who on a regular basis follow rules but while they're here we've got to maintain control so how do we do it when the ratio is one correctional officer to 48 inmates? One to 48, by anybody's standard, is not a fair fight. So we have to have a high degree of voluntary compliance. And the way we maintain that high degree of voluntary compliance is that we have some incentives that can be taken away if they don't follow our rules. Uh, I guess foremost is our commissary cart. behave themselves while they're here, then they get to make purchases if they have the money off the commissary cart. Now it's twofold. Number one, we do the commissary because it controls behavior. If they don't behave properly, we take it away from them. But if they do behave, they get commissary and I get a percentage uh, that goes into an inmate benefit trust account, which can later be spent on uniforms, it can be spent on towels, it can be spent on uh, toiletry items, it can be spent on cleaning items, it can be spent on a number of things like mattresses and uh, suicide prevention gowns and things uh, that, that, you know, would be a cost or a burden to our taxpayer if we didn't have a successful commissary running. Thank you. Thank you.